Hey what's up, Diego here from Elite Gamer Bros and I'm very excited to bring you the latest Jet tutorial that will feature some of the new loadouts and techniques I've discovered since my previous tutorials. While the way I feel about certain things featured in previous tutorials has changed, they still provide a lot of useful information that you don't want to miss if you want to start learning how to best utilize the Jets in Battlefield 3. Here's the loadout I have found to be the most effective when using the techniques I'm about to show you. Air Radar gives you a glimpse of where the enemy aircraft is engaging from and it's a great Great way to keep track of the enemy's position during a dogfight without having to lose focus on turning by looking around the cockpit. Extinguishers, if used correctly, will keep you in the fight longer without having to make a difficult emergency landing. And rocket pods are the best way to take out tanks with fighter jets. All it takes is a couple of direct hits to disable and a burst of the main cannons to destroy it. Tac jets are set up the same as fighter jets except instead of rocket pods, heat seekers are used because there's no need for rockets when the attack jets main cannons are strong enough to destroy a tank in one run. As stated in previous tutorials, during and after takeoff you should start gaining altitude and start spotting jets in order to avoid being ambushed right off the runway. Your attack priorities should be jets first, heli second, tanks last. Helis are very dangerous when they gain altitude and start locking on with heat seekers, while tanks and AA have limited range from the ground. While attacking in most maps and game modes, maintain an 800 meter altitude and engage using some of the engagement techniques shown in previous tutorials. Always avoid getting into turning fights, and try to remain hidden from the enemy until you have the opportunity to get on his tail and finish him off quickly. The best advice I can give you is to watch your turning speed. The speed range for turning the fastest with jets in Battlefield 3 is between 280 and 290. So as long as you can maintain those speeds by tapping back on the throttle while turning or diving, you will always outturn your enemy. And remember, you don't need to throttle up unless you lose too much turning speed or you're getting away from the infantry zones. Your jet will automatically maintain a cruising speed of about 340 without any of your inputs. Use third person view when you notice on your air radar that you're closing in behind an enemy in a dogfight to give you a glimpse of his current position and where he plans on going next so you can follow behind him. Avoid staying in the third person view for too long while turning because you may lose speed or gain too much speed and hurt your turning ability. When you get into position slightly behind him, match his movement and pull fast through the turn while squeezing the trigger as your crosshair flies by the enemy jet. After you have disabled them, always go for the kill unless you're being engaged and cannot do so. Too many players have extinguisher nowadays so you cannot trust that a disabled jet won't recover when you're not paying attention. Air radar will always show you where a threat is coming from, so if an enemy jet is engaging you with his missiles or guns, always flip or turn the jet to face him before he gets too close and start matching his movement and finding your way onto his tail. When getting locked on from something other than a jet, always fly up and away from the threat and hopefully you will be far enough from the enemy to inhibit his ability to get a lock. If he does get a lock, continue to fly away and use extinguishers to recover from a disable if the missile does manage to disable you. which is not always the case when flying away. After recovering your health, stay away from the combat area until your extinguishers have reloaded. If you decide to fly with flares instead of extinguishers, or you start getting locked on while your extinguishers are still reloading, you can dodge missiles by flying up and away from the threat. Then the moment the missile gets released, you quickly throttle down to 280 and maintain that speed while pulling a sharp turn at a slight downward angle, like it was mentioned in my previous tutorial on dodging missiles. This maneuver, if performed correctly, will work most of the times, but it gets more difficult if the missile is fired from a short distance from you. If the enemy is too close, you should always get into a turning dogfight to break his ability to lock. Once you have mastered some of these techniques, your number one threat will be a skilled double-A tank with heat seekers. So it is best to spot them and avoid accidentally flying into their range until you have the opportunity to sneak up behind them and take them out with a few rockets and a burst of your main guns. Don't forget, once you have unlocked the low radar, which is always equipped, it will make it possible to fly low and away from AA tanks and helicopters when being locked on. And that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully by using some of these techniques, you will be better equipped to dominate the air in every game. And if you found some of this information useful, please rate and favorite this video. And I will be responding to any questions you may have, so leave it as a comment below. And subscribe if you want to get notified when my next tutorial gets released. And I'll see you all next time.